I had a nine disc pigmentosa 11 has run through my family. So at the age of four, I confirmed that I had RP. And then ever since then, it's just been a part of my life. I have some patches in my vision around the periphery, so blind spots. Reading the number plate for driving, I can't do that. I can't see that distance with a number plate. But other than that, um, I can read uh, newspaper print and other bits and pieces. RP is a degenerative thing, so that will get worse over time. So to know that there's a potential treatment for retinitis pigmentosa is life changing with the disease and thinking about there could be premature ending of life for career and, and all those kinds of things. With the potential of this halting degradation of my eyesight is huge. So the protein that's affected is called PRPF31 and people with RP11 have about half as much of this protein as they need in their retina. VP001 works by knocking down or reducing the level of a negative regulator. The one gene that does make code for functional protein is upregulated. So instead of making 50% of the levels that are needed, we hope it's going to make 75, 80, 90% of the levels that are needed and save those cells from dying and save the patients from losing their sight. What excites me the most about working with RNA therapeutics is the potential that they have for inherited diseases. Not every disease will be amenable, but there are many diseases that currently have no treatment. They're given a grim diagnosis and not much hope. An RNA therapeutic has the potential to target a gene with precision and specificity, to target particular mutations or particular pathways that can help patients with rare diseases. One of the most exciting things about this development is that it's a local invention which has stayed locally for it to be developed into a treatment that can be then disseminated throughout the world. The invention was made at Lions Institute and Murdoch University. The process of developing the drug into a clinical treatment is now in the hands of PYC Therapeutic. We are looking towards to be able to run a clinical trial based in Perth but also involving other collaborators and hopefully eventually we will be able to provide a treatment so that we can provide better sight for all. So being in WA and being in an environment where Lion's Eye Institute and PYC can work together collaboratively to create this therapy is, is incredible. 